The cold, a key factor in claims of animal abuse in Montgomery County. Those claims have been flooding our newsroom and our CBS 6 Albany Facebook page over the course of the past week or so. Many of you have asked us to look into what's going on at the Flat Creek Border Collie business in the town of Root, where people say dogs are being left out in the cold with no proper shelter or way to stay warm. State police have been out to that property multiple times. They tell us nothing illegal is going on, but that is not stopping some people from taking this matter to court. Our Brendan Lewis spent some time out there tonight. He joins us live in the newsroom. Brandon, what's happening in the courtroom tomorrow? Oh, Greg, this is a motion that would require the state police to take action. Lawyers for the animal activists will lay out concerns about this dog breeder and why they feel the investigation was inadequate. Now, at least one local lawmaker hopes this case will push Governor Cuomo to sign a bill he says could have helped in this case. Since temperatures first plunged, animal lovers have complained about these dogs allowed to remain outdoors. A dog breeder owns more than 50 and contends their housing meets the law. State police and a veterinarian came to the site and also agreed. Maybe it lives up to the tip, the very tip of the letter of the law. They have shelter, uh, they have some food, they have some water, it's, but it's 19 degrees below zero out there. It's been below zero for several days in a row. Uh, how many people put... Uh, dogs in a plastic tube and to keep them outside. An animal rights group is challenging the investigation by police, saying the conditions are inadequate and wants a judge to force the police into acting. I guess if you put a blindfold over your eyes and put your fingers in your ears and close your eyes and don't look, then yes, everything's okay. If you actually read the law and have some respect for what the legislature demands, then the police are either incompetent or lying. Any idea why, they, why they're so hesitant to take action? Because it's much easier to sit in the diner and have uh, coffee and donuts than to actually go out and work. A bill passed by both the Assembly and Senate would allow for local lawmakers to create more stringent animal laws. It's currently awaiting the signature of Governor Cuomo. Morally and ethically, it's a terrible situation for those animals, and we're calling on the elimination of those uh, dogs being out in plastic sheds in the, in the middle of winter and below zero temperatures, and we're calling on the governor uh, to sign that bill. And if he doesn't, I'm going to call on my colleagues to override his veto. Now, Rosenthal is, uh, says he's speaking with the attorney general's office about also taking action. A hearing is scheduled for tomorrow afternoon to review the case where a judge could order all the dogs to be seized. That will depend on the evidence presented and if the breeder is actually violating the law. Live in the newsroom, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.